Why is Russia developing a weapon that could destroy its own satellites? The Associated Press, citing intelligence services from two NATO countries, claims Russia is building a short-range weapon to target Starlink. This zone effect system would flood Starlink orbits with hundreds of thousands of small metal spheres. It would operate on shrapnel principle. The weapon could disable a large number of satellites simultaneously. But it also threatens other countries, orbital groups and the International Space Station. According to intelligence estimates, Russia considers Starlink a serious threat. Thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit provide communications for the Ukrainian military, government institutions and civilians. The pellets would be millimeter sized to evade detection. This makes attribution difficult. NATO's Space Division Commander Brig, General Christopher Horner, says it's not implausible given Russia's pursuit of nuclear space weapons. Experts are skeptical. Victoria Sampson of Secure World Foundation says, I don't buy it. Like, I really don't. She warns such an attack would cause uncontrollable chaos affecting Russia and China's satellites too. The weapon could remain experimental. Russia might never deploy it. But the threat itself could justify increased Western military spending. Russia views Starlink as pivotal to Ukraine's survival. Moscow has already fielded the S-500 system capable of hitting low-orbit targets. Unlike its 2021 anti-satellite missile, this new weapon would target multiple satellites at once. The development timeline is classified. What do you think? Should NATO treat this as an imminent space threat? Or is Russia just experimenting to justify its own military buildup? Drop your thoughts below.